In this video, we'll show you how to harden your Azure SQL Managed Instance against data exfiltration. So there are times when you may want to use an Azure storage account to orchestrate a specific workflow. For example, let's say you set up a database migration service to mirror your on-premises database to Azure SQL Managed Instance. To do that, you have to set up an Azure storage account in order to store those logs. Well, each time you do something like that in your workflow, you've exposed the SQL Server Managed Instance to a broader attack surface. So how do we lock it down so that there's only specific accounts that you approve of that have access to your SQL Managed Instance? Well, in order to accomplish this, we're gonna use service endpoint policies. And by using these endpoints and endpoint policies, we guarantee three things. All the traffic between your Azure SQL Managed Instance and storage is now guaranteed not to go over to the public internet, but over Azure's backbone. Also, by the use of VNets in our storage accounts, we can reject any connections that don't originate from the subnets, for example, for our managed instance that it uses. And then lastly, with the service endpoint policy, our Azure SQL Managed Instance subnet can stop services from reaching out to unsafe storage accounts. How do we do that? Well, let's jump in and do a demonstration on how we set up these service endpoint policies. Okay, so we don't have any service endpoint policies set up yet. So we're gonna back up to this storage account called Allow SQL Backups. You can see that finished successfully. Then we're also going to do a backup to URL to this other storage account, and that's gonna work just fine also because we haven't locked it down to this storage account. So now let's go set up an endpoint policy so that we can prevent any kind of data exfiltration to this bottom storage account right here. We're now in the Azure portal and we're looking at service endpoint policies. You can see we have none defined. So let's create one. Let's go ahead and grab our resource group or you can create one from scratch and let's just call this service endpoint policy demo and it's gonna check to make sure that it likes that naming convention. That all looks good. Now, this is where we're gonna set up our policy definitions. So what we're gonna do before I do this, we're gonna lock this down to a particular storage account. Now, if this is maybe a production SQL managed instance, you may wanna just do this locking it down, just do the subscription or to uh, resource groups specifically and then kind of test that before we lock it down. So we're gonna add the resource here and we're gonna say single account. Now you could say all accounts in a subscription or all accounts in a resource group. Like I said, that might be a good uh, practice to do if you're just testing this out, but we're gonna go ahead and lock it down to a single storage account. Here's my resource group. And then we're gonna lock it down just to allow SQL backups. I'm going to add that. Then we're also going to add an alias. This is really quick. You just add a services Azure managed instance alias. Once you do that, we should be good to review and create. It's going to check uh, for validation. That's gone green. So now we can say create. Get that finished after a few seconds. Let's go to the resource. Now, so far, we've just set up the rule. We haven't bound that rule to anything yet. So if we go to our associated subnets, this is where we're going to add the subnet, the VNet and the subnet that our SQL managed instance is a part of. So we'll grab our VNet from our virtual network dropdown. And then we're going to pick the subnet that our managed instance is part of. We'll click that right there and say apply. Do a quick validation. And then that's successfully been added. Now we're back in SQL Server Management Studio. And let's go ahead and back up to URL. You can see I incre uh, incremented uh, the backup file name so we won't get any errors related to that. Give it a few seconds and then you can see our backup was successfully backed up because this is the one that we restricted it to. Now let's go ahead and try and do the same thing to this other account that doesn't have the service endpoint policy. And then the error is cannot open backup device and it's the storage account that we have uh, excluded from this endpoint policy. 
So in summary, what we've done is we've changed the SQL managed instance, the subnet, we've applied this service endpoint policy to only allow account A, not account B. Also remember that your managed backup, that service account, that is not affected by this endpoint policy. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank <laughs> you.